G'day, I'm Darcy Vessio. Today we're in sunny Shepparton at the house of Mimi Lung. Mimi is an artist illustrator and she'll be doing some work with the AFLW this year. She recently worked on a Slurpee campaign for 7-Eleven and she won the People's Choice Awards for the Art Trams. I'm really excited to learn about Mimi's creative process. Let's go meet her. What sort of work are you doing for AFLW? I am doing a series of little drawings and a slightly bigger one um, it's about the creativity that you guys bring to the field. I guess I've always been really inspired by movement and the body and fluidity. So this is kind of the first time I've really um, connected that with sports. But I'm interested in looking at the kind of shapes and like the poses and stuff. Yeah, I'm hoping to use some of the silhouettes and shapes from that and incorporate that into designs. Yeah. Do you think there's much crossover between art and sport creatively in the work you're doing for AFLW? Do you feel that? I guess I have increasingly found that being creative, like making my drawings and illustrations and stuff is really important for my sense of like personal freedom because it really is something that I have control over and I could do whatever I want with. The idea of seeing the field as a blank canvas that you can just go out and make your mark on is definitely very similar to how I feel when you have a blank piece of paper and you're just like, okay, I'm going to start here and do this and yeah, see what yeah. happens. What sort of advice would you say for people, sort of whether it's football or art or anything really, finding that drive and I guess being resilient? Yeah, I think resilience is really important. One of the things that someone said to me ages ago when I first started was like really blunt advice, like if you want it enough, it'll happen. And like just thinking about that over the years, it's like, oh, just constantly reviewing what I'm doing and thinking, do I really want this? Am I happy to like not have X, Y, Z and yeah. go for doing art and just constantly balancing those things and weighing them up? So I think it's important to just keep a level head, you know, whilst still striving for things that um, you really want. How does it feel seeing your work out there, whether it be the Slurpee campaign or on a tram? I'm still quite awkward about it actually. I don't know why, I just feel like, ah, oh, it's out there. Um, obviously it's great and um, it's kind of surreal as well. Seeing it on the tram, it was really exciting and then seeing other people's reactions to it was really cool. I guess it's a privilege, I suppose, to be able to see your work on a large scale and having so many people see it. Mm. What makes you love what you're doing? Part of it's the idea of getting away with making a living doing what I love doing which is awesome and like really lucky to be able to do that. Drawing just helped me be normal in a way, like I keep saying, and like, I have all these ideas going around my head. And it's great to be able to use those kind of thoughts and feelings and that to create things that appeal to people who are not useful. It's fun as well. You feel like you have control over what you're doing and there aren't any rules. And like I said before, I get this really great sense of personal freedom that you don't really get when you, you know, when you're doing anything else. 